So find your flow, take the path of mastery. Let me explain to you what this book is about. It's about building integrated knowledge so you can save yourself better with routines that help you out far better. Find your flow, take the path of mastery, develop the idea of integrated knowledge and creating routines that really serve you better. Integrated knowledge comes from moving your body and simply taking the learning outcomes from moving your body. You really know the type of thing that I'm on about because you've experienced it. When you learn to walk as a toddler, no one gave you a book. No one gave you a lesson on how to walk. What you did is you decided to stand up yourself, take a few steps and try and walk. And then you faltered and you fell on your behind. But that didn't stop you. You stood right back up, you adjusted and then you started off again. And eventually the end result was that you could walk. So integrated knowledge is learning from moving your body. Moving the body promotes focus in your mind. Or put another way, as soon as you move your body, you have focus. Solving problems this way removes the necessity of using the instrument that created the problem to try and resolve the problem that you're now experiencing. Because by moving, you will have focus and you will not be overthinking. With overthinking, there's no peace, there's no cal calmness in trying to resolve the issue that you're facing. And then you will time and time again begin to overthink the problem as you try and use the same instrument to try and resolve the issue for yourself. Have you ever noticed how some people talk on the phone, you see them on the mobile phone and they're pacing up and they're pacing down. They're treading the same path. That's because people have better clarity of thought when they move their body. It gives them focus. For some reason, we've never extended this concept of moving the body to make better decisions. You've likely experienced autopilot. Autopilot is, 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 is that moment in time when you arrive at work and then you begin to wonder, how did I actually get here? You've obviously woken up, you've brushed your hair, you've cleaned your teeth, you've had a shower, had a cup of coffee, got yourself dressed, prepared, got in the car, started the car and drove to work. But you, can't, you have no conscious recall of how you've actually done it. You are, you are in a routine that you're so practicing, you're in a routine that you're so practicing that you no longer had to give it conscious consideration your body automatically just responded. Or perhaps there was that time you were at a family party and a, fa and a favorite song came on. And we all have favorite tunes. I know what mine is, mine would be something like the Rolling Stones or, or the Doors. As soon as I hear them, I wanna get up straight away and I wanna dance. But you all have your own favorite song. You all have your favorite tune. And when you hear it, you wanna get up and you wanna strut your stuff. And what happens is that you'll probably in the family occasion probably grab a, a niece or a nephew and you'll want to jump on that floor and suddenly the conscious mind kicks in and it says what do you think you're doing who do you think you are you're going to make yourself look stupid let's just stop and sit down it is the conscious mind reminding you that potentially you could look stupid and what will other people think about you? So that conscious mind stops you from getting up and dancing and enjoying, and enjoying yourself. So the impulse to dance has gone. Did you know more of life is lost in indecision than making a wrong decision? Such is the cost of inaction, allowing our conscious mind to set limiting beliefs. Find your flow, take the path of mastery. Is you in enjoying your dance in the arena you operate in? It is taking the idea that you can create routines through integrated knowledge 
that will serve you better. You're so practiced in what you do, you no longer have to give it considered thought with your conscious thinking. In fact, people will often comment on the fact that you make the complex look so easy and you may find that people look upon what you do in awe. And then we have the ability to extend the idea of learning subconscious routines by building purposely routines that will serve you in the life that you lead today. So you find flow in what you do through the building of routines that support and serve you better. So when you put on the pressure, you no longer have to think how you will respond. When you're under pressure, you will automatically, because your subconscious routine will kick in. So if someone was to throw that curveball at you, or perhaps your favorite tune came on, you'd just get up and you would respond to the curveball, or you'd stand up and dance. Why? Your subconscious routines were there for you. And so you can either respond or dance with confidence. This is the purpose of find your flow, take the path of mastery, taking you from the practice arena to the performance arena so you can maximize your performance.